Hello there, and welcome to your curated ASMR relaxation session. How are you doing today? I see. I hope by the time you leave this session, you feel even just the littlest It is the stirrings of spring. There is a little drizzle outside, rather dark and cloudy, and some different bird calls, different signs of life. It's a beautiful day for this. Now, Because this is your first session with us, for this little trial, if you will, I have handpicked ten different main triggers to focus on. And these are a blend of personal attention, medical, auditory-based and visual-based triggers. Some of these are going to be a blend of two or more. Some of them are going to primarily be one category. Now, I'm going to be asking you about the triggers as well when we're finished so that we can keep a little record of what you like and some things that maybe you don't quite vibe with as much. All right? Wonderful. So, we are going to start very simply with a personal attention and a visually based trigger. Now, for this session, at times, I am going to need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? I have your consent to do that. Wonderful. So we are going to start by getting real up close. And we are going to start with some inspection and Something that is easy to lead into other types of triggers. So we can just very gently trace around and map your different features. Your eyebrows here, the nose, the orbits of the eyes, the cheekbones, the mouth here, and the shape of the face right in here. Now, I didn't ask before, but I can absolutely adjust. How do you prefer the speed of your triggers for this session? You can always change in the middle of it or perhaps in a different session. Okay. Okay, we can certainly do that. Now I'm just going to... Quite a few people enjoy these sort of almost cataloging of features. And the focused study of it. The 
Seeing how everything is leveled The general size Where things start and stop What tends to have the most minute differences Is the angles of things The inner corner of the eyes Or the rise and fall of the eyelids Eyelids, the eyebrows, where the arch begins and ends, the curl of the nares, the lips, the cupid's bow here, space with the divot, the bottom angle. These are where you generally find those little those beautiful little differences but Now we are going to be venturing a little deeper into this trigger But it's going to take more of a medical Auditory and a little bit of a visually based is we're going to map some of your anatomy here So, right in here, for example Right here This is the frontal bone Big, hard bone right in here And this comes back here and in the skull, we have, for example, the sphenoid bone right here You can feel this at the temples And you would think that since these are called the temples And you have the temporalis muscle right in here That perhaps underneath Actually, more back in here Feel it more behind the ears here That's the temporal bone And the temporalis muscle right in here As well as the temporal bone These are These names are rooted in the Latin word for time Tempori This is the time muscle and the time bone Many of these anatomical names are based in Latin And I find that to be so fascinating That a language from thousands of years ago Is still in so much use today Even in common languages Germanic Romance languages It was a A concentrated effort Of thousands of people over thousands of years To preserve these words The Roman Empire may have fallen Many centuries ago But parts of it still live on Now From this we have the parietal bone here And then in the back The occipital The occipital bone here And then if we come forward here Let's take a look So we're going to go Past the zygomatic arch here
So the whole thing we can call the oracle or the pinna. And we have the lobe or the lobule at the bottom here. And we have the helix, which is the big structure, big cartilaginous structure there. Oh, the one right in here, right at the front of the ear, this knob of skin, or cartilage rather, this is the tragus. And we have the bowl of the ear, which is a bit of a cringy name, but that's called the concha. And you have the anti in here, and then the ear canal, the external auditory meatus, meatus, depends on who you hear. Pronunciation differs quite a bit. I see that in one of my favorite Latin words, which is vehementer, which is the root of the word vehemently or vehemently, depends on who you talk to, and in Latin it means violently. But I just like the sound, vehementer. And we'll look at this other ear here. So the area in front of the ear, this is called the preauricular area, and And we can find the nodes in this area, the preauricular and the postauricular nodes. Back here, we have a bone, a little bony protuberance. And this is the mastoid process, where if you get right in here, you have the mastoid tip. Right behind the root of the ear where it attaches to the skull. You have muscles like the masseter, which means the chewing muscle here. You have obicularis oris around the mouth. You have a big sheet-like muscle right in front of the neck and chest. This is the platysma. In the back, we have the trapezius, called so because it is a trapezoid-shaped muscle. You have muscles in the neck, like the sternocleidomastoid, so named for its different attachments. You have muscles like the scalenes, which are so named because they are scalene triangles. A lot of little fun bits of anatomy, and knowing just a smidge of Latin, they are rather intuitive. So, how did we feel about our air tracing and inspection parts? Mm -hmm. Good. And what about our anatomy mapping and a little bit of Latin. Good. Very good. Now we are going to move on to a personal attention and auditory based trigger here, in which I have a tiny pair of scissors and I'm just going to be 
simulating a sort of haircut experience. And this is something that used to be quite prevalent. seemed that everyone asked for these sort of triggers, but it's a bit of an oversaturation due to that. I still like to bring it out, however, because it's a good trigger for few people like the behind the ears location of triggers. Train horns from afar. Never rest. Never break. Ever present. And how did we feel about that trigger? Now we are going to switch to a couple of more medical based triggers. And these ones are also more auditory based. I am going to start with some chest percussion. And we're going to do this on the anterior chest wall. So you're not going to have to move or do anything special. I'm going to be placing my hand on your chest and tapping on the 
knuckle of my finger here and listening for the sound that comes back. Allow me to just put my hands on your chest here. listening in particular for a few different qualities. We are listening for resonance, hyper-resonance, dullness, and stony dullness. And you'll hear, as one goes down the thorax, the sound tends to change. And it changes a lot in the abdomen. Because <laughs> you can hear, it's like tapping on a barrel is where the idea originally came from. In here, if an area, for example, has fluid in it. Just listening. Making a few taps in each area to make sure they all sound the same. Excellent. We can go one more row down. Listening. Noting. Just making some notes inside my head. Good. And now we're going to switch to the stethoscope. This tends to be Quite a lauded favorite. So, I am going to take a listen to the heart, lungs, and carotid artery. We can start with the carotid. This is going to be at the neck. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and then hold it so I can listen without hearing the flow of air in the trachea. If I could have you take a deep breath in and hold. Deep breath in and hold. And exhale. For the heart, you're not going to have to breathe any way in particular. I'm going to start by putting the stethoscope on the aortic area. We're going to take a listen to the areas around the valves of the heart. The aortic valve here, and around the aorta, and the pulmonary, pulmonary valve, pulmonary vein. Breathe normally and then 
the tricuspid valve. Go ahead and the mitral. listen to the lungs in which I will guide you through some breathing. Okay. So now for the lungs, when I place the diaphragm of the stethoscope on the chest, I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and then exhale. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. I can have you lift your arms a bit so that I can listen to the sides. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Our clipboard here. So for our percussion and our stethoscope, how did we feel about these triggers? Mm -hmm. switch to a couple of auditory based triggers. And we're going to start with mein Deutsch ist okay, nicht sehr schlecht, aber nicht toll. Ich schaue jetzt nach draußen. Das Wetter ist Und dunkel, ein bisschen neblig, ein bewogter, kalter Tag. Gestern war es wärmer als heute und dieses Wochenende wird kälter. 
Fishbowl effect. How did we feel about that? Mm -hmm. that we were going to sort of move away from the hands-on triggers, but not before we do one last very hands-on. into my finger, you can see our viscosity is very thin and it's not going to be heavy on the skin at all. It's just going to be a little extra and I am going to just massage this into the face. 
This is essentially here for just a bit of slide without resorting to anything heavier. Not oils or balms. And it also helps pronounce the sounds a little more. Specific. It's more for the sensation of touch rather than any therapeutic benefit. Any sort of body work. It's not, it's not for that. It's just for just for the touch, the personal attention of it. Circles all over around the eyes, across the cheekbones. side of the jaw. The lymph nodes here are submental, submandibular, giving them a bit of a roll. The temporomandibular joint. has a dark and aberrant 
inception, but with the Fowler's brand of phrenology, it was more sort of a funsy kind of playing around thing. It was much less designed to prove why certain humans were lesser than others. It was more like a personality test, really. So this bust, we have some of our little flourishes here. Entered at Stationer's Hall here. And on the back, it says, For 30 years, I have studied crania and living heads from all parts of the world, and have found in every instance that there is a perfect correspondence between the conformation of the healthy skull of an individual and his known characteristics. To make my observations available, I have prepared a bust of superior form and marked the divisions of the organs in accordance with my research and varied experience. So, on our bust here, we have around the eye, we have the organ of form, size, weight, color, neatness, system, order, figures, calculation, and estimates. So this is in this upper eyelid area, and the organ for language right underneath. We have verbal memory, verbal expressions right underneath that right where the boundary of the orbit is. And then we have different blocks of organs all around the head, around the ear, and different groupings on the other side. So for example, Around our ear here, we have desire for liquids or alimativeness right in here, desire for solids, and around the ear in here, executiveness at the top destructiveness, extermination, right back in here, and in here, this temple area, we have constructiveness, contrivance, ingenuity, and dexterity. A little bit back, we have Acquisitiveness, acquiring, saving, and the organ for hoarding. And back above and a little behind the ear, secretiveness, reserve, policy, evasion. Back in here. So this marks the mastoid process, and this marks the occipital spine in here. This is the occiput and where the cervical spine starts. We have things like defense, courage, combativeness, defiance back of the head, a little to the side of midline, we have gregariousness, friendship, sociability, 
love of family at the very top, right in here we have veneration fitness we have respect worship antiquity perseverance stability and power of will and more at the crown of the head we have dignity self-esteem self-love and independence and for some of our propensities sentiments and groups here we have moral and religious sentiments the perfecting group the selfish propensities the selfish sentiments the domestic propensities intuitive reasoning and reflective faculties right here literary observing knowing faculties right here so this is just a little look into some of the organs that were proposed by the Fowler's brand of phrenology with this bust here now the reason that I value this so much is because I was a little seven eight-year-old girl who developed a special interest in pseudoscience which I ended up making a career out of and most seven or eight year old girls most elementary school girls do not have interest in things like iridology and physiognomy phrenology divination things like that but I did and phrenology was always my favorite pseudoscience to learn about and the Fowler story and the bust is something I quite enjoyed and to have one here is it's still I don't know it's sort of a a mark of how far that elementary school girl with the very strange interests has come so our very last our very last trigger is a personal attention and more visual based trigger and I am going to use this cotton bud to trace along the face as well as scrub and buff some of the scuffs and dust off of the face here very gentle little bit of sound, but not much just used to tie everything together good we can scrub along and we can trace around Very good. 
on the face. It's not dissimilar to our air tracing and inspection trigger at the beginning. And that's how I felt it would best end our session here. the cheeks, below the nose and above the lip here, and around the lips, down to the chin, the jaw. to the face. Down the entire length. Across. trigger with our phrenology bust and the cotton bud face tracing slash cleaning. How did we feel about this block? Mm-hmm. here. Were there any particular things that you liked more or things you liked less? you might want to have another relaxation session. Very 
very good I will put that in your file I'd like to thank you so much for your participation today I really hope you enjoyed this curated ASMR relaxation session I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night thank you exclusive content on Patreon.